you have just built a machine learning model to predict which group a customer belongs to. The model seems to do a good job in segmenting your customers. You decide to give this model to your team members so that they can develop a web application on top of your model. Wait, but how will you ship this model to your team members? Wouldn't it be nice if your team members can use your model without setting up any environment or messing with your code? That is when Bento ML comes in handy. So, what is Bento ML? Bento ML is a Python open source library that enables users to create a machine learning powered prediction service in minutes, which helps to bridge the gap between data science and DevOps. To use the version of Bento ML that will be used in this video, type pip install Bento ML. To understand how Bento ML works, we will use Bento ML to serve a model that segments new customers based on their personalities. The data I will use in this video is a customer personality analysis on Kaggle. Click download the data, then save it in your current directory. Here we have a function to process data. The function getScaler uses scikit-learn transformer standard scalar. It fit the data and the function return the scalar. The function getPCA model uses the transformer PCA. It fit the data, then it return PCA. Since we will use standard scalar and PCA to process the new data later, we will save these scikit-learn transformers to Bento ML's local model store. Since Scalar and PCA are scikit-learn object, we will use Bento ML doc scikit-learn doc save to save the object. The first argument is the name of the object and the second argument is the object itself. Okay, so let's run our process data file. Cool, we can see that two models are saved. The first model is Scalar and another model is PCA. Each model have a specific tag and all of them are saved under Bento ML models. You can view all models are stored locally by running Bento ML models list. We can see two models that we have just saved, the module name, their location, size, and the time they are created. Now, if we run process data again, and we run Bento ML models list, we'll see multiple version of the same model. This is very nice because we can switch back and forth between different version of a model. In the file segment.py, we will create a cluster model using k-means. We fit the model to a data frame. And as we did previously, since this is a scikit-learn object, we will use Bento ML doc scikit-learn doc save to save this model. Now let's run the segment.py file to train and save the model to Bento ML. Cool. We have just saved another model. That's it about saving models with Bento ML. In the next video, we will learn how to use the saved models to create an API service.